Jake Schumacher is an energetic, rebunctious four-year-old, doing everything four-year-olds are supposed to do. If you look at him, you would never know there was anything going on. Um, he's super energetic. We keep him really busy because he needs it. <laughs> he loves to climb, he loves to run, so we match what he likes to do with what he does. But before he was born, an echocardiogram showed a serious problem known as tetralogy of fellow. So when these babies are born, they have a narrowing here in the main pulmonary artery and then a narrowing to the left and the right pulmonary artery. And as I mentioned, a hole between the pumping chambers. The cardiologist who came in to talk to me just kind of gave me the worst possible <laughs> news ever because I was not expecting that. Things were going really well. There was some good news. Jake's heart problems were correctable through open heart surgery as well as stenting. Dr. Evan Zahn is the director of pediatric cardiology at Guerin Children's and has treated thousands of infants like Jake. We can treat an narrowing by putting in a stent. A stent, of course, is a is a metal mesh tube that can be very small and go in on a balloon and be expanded to expand that narrowing or, or what we call stenosis in the baby's blood vessel. The problem is, and the problem has been for the last 30 plus years, there is no stent ever in the United States that's been designed for this purpose um, or any other country for that matter. There is no stent that is actually designed to treat baby vessel narrowings or vessel stenosis. And currently there is no device available in the world that can then be expanded to an adult size. Because of this, children like Jake required more surgery and new stents as they grew bigger and the original stents could not expand enough. But all of that is about to change because of an experimental stent known as the Minima stent seen here. We can implant this stent at, an, at a size that's small enough for a newborn baby, even in some cases a premature baby. And that same stent can be expanded over the course of time simply with a balloon expansion in the catheterization laboratory to get all the way to a grown adult size. Zahn, who is the medical director of the Renata Minima Company, says the stent grows from two millimeters to more than 18 millimeters. This is the Renata Minima stent going from six millimeter diameter to 10 millimeter diameter. Jake was the first patient to receive the Minima stent at Cedar sinai in a procedure this past March. He's one of only 10 patients nationwide given the new stent as part of an early feasibility study at four hospitals. So it's a new technology, same materials, just the design of it was different that it, would, it could grow with him. It would lessen the chance that he would need another surgery to replace that or to remove it. So this would be the one for him to grow with. We've been waiting for a solution for baby vascular narrowings or stenoses. We've never had it. Um, this seems like it might be the lifetime solution. I mean, we have a lot of testing to do. We need to get FDA approval. But if this pans out like we think it's going to, and certainly Jake's a great example of that, this will be a complete game changer for, for scores of children uh, all around the world.